only the king and queen. What are you doing? <laughs> what a creep. <laughs> Just eating your lunch. I am calling Tamika, because Tamika is one of my really close friends. You kind of want to talk to people who are in committed relationships about relationships. Hey. hey, friend, how are you? I'm fantastic, how are you? Good, your hair looks fabulous. Girl, you know, it was different earlier, right? <laughs> Here you go. I miss your face, how have you been? I miss your face, too. Aw, oh, you know, like, decision day's coming. So, like, I think I have, what, two days? I know, right? So, yeah, that's crazy. So where are you with everything? So we've actually had, like, drama as of late. We got into, a, like, a really petty fight. It was so petty. And we said really nasty things to each other. Yeah, like, did damage, like, hit triggers. Nate and I, right now, our biggest struggle is fighting fair. And so I'm not worried that we are incapable of doing it. It's just a matter of actually doing it. In terms of your final decision, were there any times you felt like things were questionable or you had doubt? I think just like the last argument, just because it got so ugly and we said a lot of ugly things. And I think that, like, my previous situation, and, like, we've talked about it, like, I just am in a season of life where I'm just not going to be disrespected and I'm not going to lower the standard. And if I ever feel disrespected, like, yep, got to go. Like, you know, like, that's just where I am. Like, I can love you, but I've learned a long time ago, like, love alone is not enough. The worst case scenario, obviously, would be it not working out. And um, for me to think that, hey, like, in a couple days, you could very well be divorced. I mean, that's definitely something to think about. But you got to remember, too, this is all still new. You guys are still learning each other. It's not going to happen overnight. I'm five years in and still trying to figure stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I'm excited, too, that it hasn't been just all perfect. Like, granted, in the moment, it's like, eh, you know, like, I could do without this. Or looking back, like, I feel like we're so much stronger. And it's not just like, oh, I like your face. No, I like yeah. your face. Like, it's like, no, we've been through stuff. And I feel exactly. like with this, just like the acceleration and just the process, I, I feel like if we can make it these stressful eight weeks, like we're in really good shape for like regular life. I think this last argument, we learned a lot about each other and our triggers and previous hurts. And I think that we love each other enough that neither of us want to inflict that type of pain on the other one. So I'm hopeful about the future. But decision day is really scary. All right, love you, talk to you later. What's going on, Dad? What up, son? Nah, you know, ain't nothing changed, man. Same soup, just reheated. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my father, he plays a lot. He jokes around a lot. When he gets serious, he has a lot of wisdom. And even though he's not married, he's been through a lot of different relationships, and he's able to learn from it. Advice is free. I can take bits and pieces from it as I want. You gotta come along uh, a long way, you know, in a short amount of time. Right. I feel like this process has done wonders for introducing me to a woman who I would never met in a million years, who is amazing. But then again, you're almost fearful because it's been such a headache and a whirlwind. You're like, damn, can we even go back and fill in the gaps where we skip or is the damage done? To try to say, okay, I'm gonna make a decision after, the, after you know, six weeks, eight weeks, you know, on um, what I want to do for the rest of my life. That's like, dang. I haven't even got a chance to even really get to know her yet. I can't wait to see how this play out, man. I'm just watching, like, got balls, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> and I mean, she, she does, too. Right. <laughs> not but, you know, I take a lot of, you know, to make, make some decisions to go ahead and say, all right, I'm about to get married. Man, that's why I, that's why I never got married. I, was, I don't want to get no divorce. I have my doubts, and I'm just like, man, there's no way I'm gonna be able to go through with this. This is my life. I have a very important decision to make. I'm just so confused.